Ladies and gentlemen, good day. This is Jeans from Agamalayan and today we're going to talk about the equation of continuity. Up to now, starting from the videos of Jerome Tombo until, until the video we had in Archimedes Principle, we have studied only fluids at rest. Let us now study fluids in motion, the subject matter of hydrodynamics. The study of fluids in motion is relatively complicated, but the analysis can be simplified by making a few assumptions. Let us assume that the fluid is incompressible and flows freely without any turbulence or friction between the various parts of the fluid itself and any boundary containing the fluid, such as the walls of a pipe. A fluid in which friction can be neglected is called a non-viscous fluid. A fluid flowing steadily without turbulence is usually referred to as being in streamlined flow. The rather complicated analysis is further simplified by the use of two great conservation principles, the conservation of mass and the conservation of energy. The law of conservation of mass results in a mathematical equation usually called the equation of continuity. The law of conservation of energy is the basis of Bernoulli's theorem the subject matter for our next uh, video. So, the flow rate is expressed as follows, at which the mass is flowing in the left hand portion of the pipe, okay? And then we have here the second equation, the mass flowing into the pipe is equal to the mass flowing out, and this is the basis of the conservation of mass which states that the mass is neither created nor destroyed in any ordinary mechanical or chemical process. Hence, the law of conservation of mass can be written this way. Lastly, this last equation that we see over here is what we call the equation of continuity. And it's an indirect statement of the law of conservation of mass. Okay, so it is, a special, it is a special form of the equation of continuity for incompressible fluids, such as uh, liquids. And we can assume that the cross-sectional area, which is A1, is greater than the cross-sectional area, A2. Okay, so let's now begin... Uh, solving some problems involving the equation of continuity. So let us now solve this problem involving uh, involving equ equation of continuity. So let's first concern ourselves with the flow rate formula. So the cross-sectional area of the pipe can be found uh, by, compute, by computing for the A1. A1. This is equal to the pi times diameter 1 squared all over 4. This is now equal to pi 0.1 uh, so we're going to convert centimeters into meters so we'll have 0 0.1 meters uh, quantity squared all over 4 and we're going to have a value of 7.85 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters squared alright the flow rate uh, is what we have shown earlier in the previous slide and it is this one so delta m over delta t equals rho times a1 times v1 and then 
our value for rho or density is of course the density of water so that is 1 times 10 raised to 3 kilograms per cubic meter a1 is what we saw over here it is equal to 7.85 times 10 raised to negative 3 uh, meter squared no, I'm not going to include that with the, the unit anymore so yeah so yeah lastly the velocity it is given in these problems it is 0 0.322 meters per second and now we're going to have an answer of 2.53 kilograms per second so 2.53 kilograms of water flow through the pipe per second okay so let's now solve this problem and in here we're going to apply the equation of continuity So let's read. In the previous problem, the cross sectional area A1 was 7.85 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters uh, squared, and the velocity was 0.322 meters per second. If the diameter of the pipe to the right is 4 centimeters, <coughs> find the velocity of the fluid in the right hand pipe. So the cross-sectional area of the right-hand side of the pipe can be uh, solved using the following equation. So A2 is, e A, uh, two is equal to pi d sub 2 squared all over 4 is equal to pi 0. Point. Okay, so we're going to convert that into meters by using the dimension analysis we have a value of 0 0.04 meters squared over 4 and this is now equal to 1.26 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters squared the velocity of the fluid on the right hand side uh, so we're going to solve for V2 now uh, can be found by manipulating our equation of continuity so when we manipulated the formula for our equation of continuity then we will have the following equation so V sub 2 is equal to A1 over A2 and it is equal to uh, equal to it is multiplied to v1 we will have here <coughs> the value of our a1 is 7.85 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters squared and then this would be over we will go to the values value to what we found over here so 1.26 times 10 raised to negative 3 square meters and then of course the v1 it is given a problem it is 0 0.322 meters per second and this is now equal to 2.01 meters per second the fluid velocity increased more than six times when it flowed through the constricted pipe so thanks for watching i hope you learned a lot and we're going to cover Bernoulli's theorem in our next video